My name is Fola Shadiolale. I went to University of Technology, Akure. I had a diploma in microbiology. I am Monogbanje, agent of Satan. Prophet B. Joshua, when I look at you with a magnet in my eyes, so I'll just focus my eyes like this and look at you. The power there will do the work. Prophet B. Joshua, you I use the power in my heart to loss over you. You are very handsome. You are the type of man I like. I like everything about you. I always wish in my heart you are my husband. This woman gives more insight into the myriad of selfish, classic and material reasons that people take it upon themselves to blackmail, blaspheme, slander, attack and seduce the people of God. She confessed that she used the demonic power in her heart to lust after Prophet T.B. Joshua. It is this lust that made her try to seduce the Prophet for her own end. But as the Bible says, if you fail to begin with God, you will end with failure. I'm an Ogban, the agents of Seta. The power in my eye, I use it to seduce men like this. My mission here is to destroy man of God. That day, the life of her is like never take the light that very day. So I wanted to come out. So when I want to come, I want to come and touch you with the power in my hand. I will touch your brokers. The demon-possessed woman confessed the plan she had to attack Prophet TB Joshua in the dark during a blackout. The woman explained that she wanted to attack him in the dark, saying that she would hug and kiss him while using the demonic power in her hands to touch the man of God's private parts. So I wanted to come out. So when I want to come, I want to come and touch you with the power in my hand. I will touch your brokers. It is the power in my hand. I wanted to come and meet you. So as I was coming, because I will hold you like this, kiss you, I will use one of my hands to hold your brokers. So as I was coming, now the agent now drive me back. So I now run back. Assume you succeed. What will happen? Eh? Ah, in my kingdom, they will be happy because this place everywhere will be collapsed. She added that if she had succeeded in her attack, the kingdom of darkness would have been happy, as the synagogue church of all nations would have collapsed. It is people such as these that may often be seen rushing out of the congregation during Sunday services at the synagogue church of all nations, shouting, Man of God, help me! But it takes the grace of God to recognize the cry born of faith. With this, you can appreciate the tough task the ushers face each service day of attending to people. My name is Stella Njoko. I'm an Obanje, agent of Satan. My mission here is to seduce the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. I want to come and collect his power. This church will now be collapsed. He will no longer hear people no more again. I will come to you inside your office and I will seduce you with my eye. This woman says that she had planned to come to the man of God's office to seduce and destroy him there using the demonic power in her eyes. If she had succeeded, she says, the church would have collapsed. You make love to me, your where, power will not where, be less. Where? Inside your office, of course. What likely to happen? Your church will not be collapsed. Can you imagine what agents of Satan like these do to thousands of people? How would anyone be able to know that this was her intention for asking to see the Prophet in his office? Can you see what it takes to attend to those who ask for an appointment? The Bible reminds us that everyone lies to their neighbour. Their flattering lips speak with deception. I am an Awanji, a princess, a fish and a snake. I have five powers. What is your mission here? My mission here is to destroy you um, by seducing you with the power in my eyes. Then when I seduce you with the power in my eyes, you will be charmed. Then you, you ask me for an out and why we go out to make love. Why you are going around preaching, I'll seduce you with the power in my eyes. Flickering her eyes, this woman demonstrates how she had planned to seduce Prophet D.B. Joshua in order to sleep with him and destroy him and his ministry. So, if you succeed in doing it, what will happen to me? Your life will be destroyed and this church will collapse. You'll be using your power to heal people of sickness and afflictions. 
which we inflicted in them from my kingdom. This woman was also arrested by the power of God at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. This was the confession she gave, saying that she was an agent of Satan, princess, fish and snake in the kingdom of darkness. Her mission was to destroy the man of God. Realising that she had been unable to complete her mission, she added with a tone of annoyance that what particularly made her attack the prophet was that God had been using him to heal and deliver people of the sicknesses her kingdom had inflicted on them. The Bible says everyone is exposed to things that are inconsistent with God's word. Unfaithful friends are epidemic. Whom can we believe? The Bible says, we simply need to trust someone stronger, wiser, and smarter than ourselves, the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, do not take all you hear, all you see, all you read, and all you are told without questioning. Be careful to examine all things in the light of God's word and let God's word channel your way. Never allow circumstances to dictate your direction. Viewers, beware of blasphemers. Beware. To see more, to hear more, to witness more about the ministry of TB Joshua and the Synagogue Church of All Nations, tune in to Emmanuel TV. And wherever you are, get connected. If you're in Africa, you can find us free to air on the Intel 10 satellite. If you have a DSTV decoder or LSAT decoder, please refer to our website www.emmanuel.tv for full details on how to tune in. If you are in the USA, Canada or Mexico, you can also find us free to air on the Galaxy 19 satellite. Alternatively, you can watch us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week from anywhere in the world on the internet. Just log on to www.emmanuel.tv and click on the Watch Online Now icon. For any more information about the channel, you can send us an email to info at emmanuel.tv. Emmanuel TV. Changing lives, changing nations, changing the world.